Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the first episode of Walt Disney World Dining Reviews. Now, if you saw last week's episode, you know that I am now a Florida resident, and to celebrate this move, me and my parents actually went down to Walt Disney World and spent the night at Bay Lake Tower and tried out some new restaurants. So, I figure since I am closer to the parks now, I'll be going there more often and trying a lot of new places, so I want to give my dining reviews and share them with you. So, let's get started. So today I'll be giving my review of Chef Art Smith's Homecoming, and this is located in the landing portion at Disney Springs. Now this is built as like a Florida fresh kitchen, meaning that everything's either made in-house or sourced locally from Florida vendors. And one thing to note with this whole review is that when we initially booked it, we thought we were booking for a brunch reservation, um, but our server informed us that they had not restarted brunch since, since the shutdown, but they were planning to start it the next day. So we went on July 4th, they were planning to start it on July 5th, and at the time he was not sure if it was just going to be on Sundays or Saturdays and Sundays. However, I have checked today and there are Saturday uh, reservations available, so it should be both Saturdays and Sundays moving forward. However, things may change as the COVID situation progresses. So our reservation was at 12.15, and the restaurant did not open until noon. Uh, we did arrive a little early, so we got to see their, their procedures with checking everybody in and whatnot. Um, there were plenty of signs reminding people to social distance and keep six chickens apart. Um, and then as they were checking people in, they were kind of putting them in the general vicinity, but making sure everyone was spaced out. And then right before they opened, they were calling the groups up and separating them six feet apart in front of the door and then taking, taking in one party at a time to be seated. Um, and once we went inside to be seated, first thing they asked us was whether we wanted to sit inside or outside. For this um, experience, we decided to sit inside since we had been walking around Disney Springs for about two hours at that point. So we were pretty hot and we, we wanted to enjoy the air conditioning. So first of all, service here was outstanding. Uh, our server's name was Tim and we highly recommend asking for him because he was great with recommendations on food and on drinks and was just very accommodating and helpful throughout the meal. Um, we all kind of agreed at the end of this meal that service here was definitely a 10 out of 10. Um, and that kind of seemed to be the trend throughout all the meals that we experienced over the weekend. It seems like the cast members are just happy to be back and very appreciative that the guests are back as well. Um, but this starts for our first experience at the restaurants with the co new COVID procedures and the QR code menus. So Tim kind of walked us through exactly how to uh, pull up the menu on our phone since they were not handing out any physical menus, everything was on the phones. Um, but I'll include a link to the menu in the description down below. So the drink menu here offered quite a few options. Since we were planning to go here for brunch, my dad was going to try the Bloody Mary, but since that wasn't on the lunch menu, uh, we asked him if they could still make one. Uh, they said they could, however the garnishes would be a little bit different since the restaurant was not quite prepared for the brunch menu since they hadn't started serving brunch yet. Um, but we ordered it anyways, and he said it was very good, very spicy. It was garnished with a piece of celery, uh, two pimento cheese stuffed olives, which my dad thought were fantastic, and a piece of their uh, pecan smoked bacon. And all those were very good. Um, Tim highly recommended, highly recommended the olives and actually brought my dad a full cup since he saw that he liked them so much, uh, which was great. We really appreciated what, what Tim was doing for us and all, all his recommendations and whatnot. So my mom and I decided to stick with the moonshine-based cocktails. And I started with the moonshine mash at the recommendation of Tim, which was a watermelon-infused moonshine, fresh watermelon, lime juice, and simple syrup. Um, I thought this drink was fantastic. It was very refreshing, not too sweet, um, and the lime juice added just the right amount of tartness to it as well. Uh, but in, in addition to their normal cocktails, they have also have five uh, moonshine cocktails on tap. And Tim recommended that we can mix and match some of these, make some combinations, like do half and half. So one of the combinations he recommended was the strawberry lemonade and the sweet tea shine to make a drink similar like a strawberry Arnold Palmer. Um, and my mom got this one and she thought it was fantastic. Very fruity, very refreshing, kind of just a nice summery drink. And the cocktails that are on tap are all priced by the size. So 16 ounces, 22 ounces, or I think 32 ounces. Um, but Tim recommended we get the 22 ounce jumbo squeeze, which was their reusable cup, because if you do that, then you can refill the cup for the same price as the 16 ounce. So, a um, little bit of a, of a savings there, because you pay for the 16 ounce and you get 22 ounces worth of cocktails. Uh, he also said you can bring this cup back if you come back to Homecoming and refill it again for the $13, or you can get it pre refills with uh, fountain drinks with the same cup. 
So something nice to note. Uh, could be a good value down the road if you're going to be going to homecoming quite a bit. Uh, we thought it was fantastic. And I actually got one of those for my second drink. So my second drink, I got the Blue Hooch, which was highly recommended by Tim. Um, it was a flame blue moonshine, lemon infused uh, moonshine, blue curacao, housemade simple syrup, fresh lemon juice, and a splash of Sprite. And this was very, very tart. Um, I thought it was great. I like this one better than my first drink. Um, if you like very tart lemonade, this is the drink for you. Um, very good. Still very refreshing and whatnot. Um, nice summery drink, but very tart. Uh, both were excellent, this and the Moonshine Mash, but I did, I did prefer the Blue Hooch to the Moonshine Mash. And then for my mom's second drink, she got the uh, Moonshine Margarita, which was also very good. Not quite as tart as the Blue Hooch, but still tart, more tart than the uh, Lemonade. All very good. All the drinks here were, were phenomenal. Um, definitely recommend going there for drinks. So for our appetizer, we decided to order the Church Lady Deviled Eggs, and the reason we did this was because a lot of the reviews that we've read and seen have spoken so highly of these eggs, so we had to know what the hype was all about. So these were very creamy, with a nice flavor on top of the piece of their pecan smoked bacon, and Tim told us that the secret to their um, deviled eggs is that they had some of their homemade hot sauce uh, in the yolk mixture, uh, which added a nice like sweetness, tanginess, spiciness to the flavor as well. And they do sell this hot sauce in the bottles um, in the store as well. We actually bought two of these bottles to take home. We thought it had a very nice flavor. It kind of starts off sweet and then has a ni nice heat to it, but not overpowering heat. Uh, my mom actually said that she's not really a spicy person, but she liked the flavor of it. But, and it even has carrots in it, which was interesting. Uh, overall, the deviled eggs were good, but really were nothing too special compared to those that my mom can make back home. Um, and I would say really not worth $12. Uh, so to me, at least, this was my least favorite part of the meal. So as for our entrees, this is where I thought the meal really shined through. Um, and since it's kind of what they're known for, both me and my mom ordered some fried chicken meals, and we had a lot of similarities between our two meals. Uh, so I ordered the fried chicken donuts, which was their take on chicken and waffles. The donuts were very light and fluffy, and they were sh house-made sugar donuts, um, and they went well with the saltiness of the chicken quite nicely. Uh, my meal was served with maple syrup, creamy mashed potatoes, and their sawmill gravy. Uh, my mom ordered Art's famous fried chicken, which is also served with creamy mashed potatoes and sawmill gravy, in addition to a cheddar drop biscuit. Uh, so we both ag agree that the chicken here was outstanding. So it's buttermilk brined for 24 hours and then fried to just the right amount of crispiness. Um, we thought the breading had a very nice seasoning, a nice flavor to it. It wasn't greasy at all, and the chicken wasn't dry. It was, it was very juicy and tender, and just overall it was phenomenal. The mashed potatoes that we both had were very good, very creamy as their name suggested, um, but I think the real star um, on, with the mashed potatoes was the sawmill gravy with it. So their sawmill gravy had a very prominent bacon flavor, it was very smoky. Um, I was kind of expecting sausage gravy when I first saw it on the plate, but it was very good. My dad ordered the fried catfish, which came with french fries, hush puppies, and a side of remoulade. He ordered the catfish to be extra crispy, which he thought was excellent. It was a very light breading and very well seasoned, so it didn't really overpower the flavor of the fish. Um, the remla had a very nice heat to it, and my dad also requested some of their hot sauce as well to put um, on the fish, uh, which I thought was very good. Uh, the fries were very nicely seasoned as well, and the hutch puppies surprised me. They actually had a very prominent uh, red bell pepper flavor to them. Uh, usually hush puppies have a very strong onion flavor, so this was an, a very nice surprise to have a uh, red bell pepper flavor to it. In addition to our entrees, we also split a side order of the macaroni and cheese, which if you are a cheese fan, this is definitely the dish to get. Uh, it was a blend of different cheeses, and it was very creamy and baked in its little own uh, like cast iron dish. Had some cheese oozing over the side and baked to it. It was fantastic, very cheesy, very rich, very creamy. So lastly, for dessert, we decided to order the famous hummingbird cake, and the three of us ended up splitting this one. And this is a pineapple banana cake with cream cheese frosting, and it was served with a seasonal fruit gastrique and a scoop of vanilla bean ice cream. The cake was very similar to like banana bread. Uh, it did have a small hint of pineapple to it. It had some pineapple chunks mixed in, but the overpowering flavor to the cake was definitely banana. Uh, the vanilla bean ice cream was outstanding. Very flavorful, very strong vanilla bean flavor to it. And it kind of had the consistency of like a sorbet, which just kind of like melts in your mouth. It was phenomenal. Um, one thing I want to note with this dessert, though, 
is that the three of us split it and we did still take most of it home with us. It is a very large piece and it is a very dense cake. So after the meal that was very, very large uh, portion sizes on the, all our entrees and everything, I highly recommend getting this dessert, number one, but number two, either know you're going to split it or know you'll be taking most of it home. Um, but yeah, it was a fantastic dessert, fantastic meal. So overall, we loved this experience and thought that it was a great family-friendly location um, with some fantastic food. Um, definitely one of our favorite non-signature restaurants on property now. This was our first time going here. Absolutely loved it. Highly recommend going to Homecoming if you have not been before. So to give it a rating out of 10, um, my mom actually said she would give it a 10 out of 10. And both me and my dad would give it a 9 out of 10. And the reason that I would give it a 9 personally was really for those deviled eggs. Not, nothing too, too special there. Um, was kind of disappointed with those. But everything else was phenomenal. And it is a little bit on the pricier side overall, but the portions of the food are huge. So it is a good value for what you're getting. Um, but there you have it. There's my review of the Art, Chef Art Smith's Homecoming at Disney Springs. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And let us know in the comments below if you plan on going to Homecoming now. Um, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next week on another episode of the Walt Disney World Dining Reviews.